Hey you guys, it's me Thomas number one fan 2003 here. And as you can see I'm here with the SpongeBob SquarePants My Name is Cheese head book that I got for Christmas. And you all know that earlier today I reviewed the Who Bob What Pants book. And yeah, this book is basically almost the exact same as Who Bob What Pants, but this but in this one they don't call SpongeBob a nuisance. And um you probably get it by now. It's it obviously has different illustrations. So um Yep, so anyways, um as you can see there's SpongeBob announcing that it's safe to blow bubbles in New Kelp City and there are all of the Kelp City well New Kelp City residents and there are a bunch of bubbles, obviously since it's safe to blow bubbles there. <laughs> and like a kind of swirl because yeah spongebob has amnesia and here's the spine really fast it looks just like the happy birthday spongebob book to be honest and here's the back and yeah this book is actually made by the exact same company it's a ready to read book as well but happy birthday spongebob is a step one book which is what this one right here is and this book is a step two book, which you can obviously see that right there. And on the front right here too. See? <laughs> I'm sorry. And um yeah, there's a picture of the Who Bob What Pants book, which we obviously own the book too. <laughs> I'm sorry. And um yeah, just like that book, which I'm not even gonna show it again. Um <laughs> it's based off of whatever happened to SpongeBob as well. And Yep. And yeah, th this book is actually illustrated by Victoria Miller. Happy Birthday SpongeBob was illustrated by Heather Martinez. And Who Bob What Pants was illustrated by Stephen Reed, I'm pretty sure. And yeah, just like Happy Birthday SpongeBob, there are all of the levels listed and yeah, it's in like descriptions. And there's SpongeBob after he hits his head and he just looks so funny. Like, look at his eyes. It's like biting his bottom lip and his tongue sticking out. That is so funny. But yeah, his bump though is so big. So yeah, SpongeBob woke up in a strange place and he's like wondering where is he and who is he? So. Yep. So SpongeBob um, doesn't know where he is and these two nice people help him out a little bit and they tell him that his name is Cheesehead Brown Pants but yeah Cheesehead or Spongebob checks his pockets for clothes to help him try to remember but he found a container full of bubble solution and a bubble wand but suddenly the two people run away cause you know, bubbles aren't allowed in New Kelp City. <laughs> so, um, yep, so Spongebob is in New Kelp City now, and he accidentally bumps into this guy, which the guy is really, really rude. Spongebob apologized to him kindly, but he says that he is not sorry, and he tries to take, and Spongebob is trying to, like, take money from his pocket, but Spongebob said that he would never, and... That mean fish tells him to get a job. Yeah, Spongebob doesn't have any money, so. Yeah, he goes to the bank to get a new job. And he didn't fill out the form because he can't remember who he is. And the lady asks him what is his special skill that he can do. And he can blow bubbles. And she gets scared as well and tells him to leave. So Spongebob gets a new job at a construction site and he blows a bubble and he sits on it to, you know, to hammer the nails into the building faster. So he of course gets fired from that job as well cause it, cause he blew a bubble. And Spongebob is really, really sad and lonely so he sees people standing by a fire 
and he asks them if he if he can blow bubbles because it'll cheer him up but they say that he can't do that here and then the mean bubble poppin boys arrive and there's a bubble right there and yep so they have a way to deal with bubble pop and the kids like that like bubble blowers like him <laughs> so um okay so cheesehead runs away from the bubble poppin boys but they catch up to him so he thinks of a way to escape he blows some bubbles and he climbs them just like stairs but it, but that made the bubble poppin boys more angry and then he blows bubbles to like a raft raft and a oar and he paddles away from them and they take out slingshots and they pop his bubble raft so he blows the biggest bubble ever and it closes around the bubble poppin boys and now oh shoot sorry hold on they float away and Yep, they're trapped and they're never going to come back again. I'm sorry, I don't know why the page is flipped all by itself all of a sudden. Just ignore that, I'm sorry. And <laughs> everyone is so happy and they start to cheer that the Bubble Poppin' Boys are gone and, they can, and they're free to, bu to blow bubbles again. And, yep, Spongebob is now... It was Cheesehead is now mayor of New Kelp City. So they make him mayor of New Kelp City because they're so happy about it him getting rid of the bubble bubble boys so he's announcing that it's that it's always going to be safe to blow bubbles in the streets or his name isn't cheesehead brown pants or whatever but spongebob or cheesehead sees a squirrel and she tells him that his name is not cheesehead brown pants it's spongebob square pants and yeah Cheesehead says that he's never seen this squirrel before, and she said that her name was Sandy, and there's Squidward and Patrick right there, too. And the the pink sea star says that his name is Patrick. And Sandy tells Spongebob to come back with them to Bikini Bottom to help him remember, but... Cheesehead or Mayor Cheesehead has to go to an important meeting. So, yep, but the limo takes him to Bikini Bottom instead because Squidward's driving it. And they go inside the Krusty Krab, and Sandy asks SpongeBob if he remembers the place, and he says nope because he has amnesia, obviously. And Mr. Krabs tries to, you know, refresh his memory with a spatula, but of course he can't remember that either. And he says that being a fry cook sounds great, but he will prefer being the mayor of New Cope City. And suddenly a jewel encrusted egg <laughs> um, hits SpongeBob on the head. See, it hits him right there. And. He rubs his head and looks around and he remembers the Krusty Krab. And he remembers everything else as well. He remembers his friends now. And... Hold on a second. Make sure I didn't miss a page. Nope. But Spongebob still says that he needs to be the mayor of New Kelp City. But, suddenly... A news report says that New Cope City's in trouble because the streets are clogged with bubbles and they blame Mayor Cheesehead Brown Pants for ruining it all. So, yep. So SpongeBob decides to no longer ever be a mayor again and he says that being a fry cook is the life. So, um,. Yep, that's pretty much all for this book, and it has the exact same DVD advertisement, available October 2008. My fifth birthday, October 2008, because I was born in October! Okay. Yep, that's pretty much all for this book. And, yep, I hope you guys enjoyed my video on it, and 
Yeah, it, um, I'm just asking, do you like Who Bob Wall Pants or My Name is Cheesehead better? I like them both, don't ask why. And I'm sorry about, like, saying that that's my birthday, October 2008. I don't even know what day the DVD was released. I was born October 10, 2003, so I was turning 5 October 10, 2008. <laughs> okay, that's random, okay. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed my video on My Name is Cheesehead. And... Yeah, it's a very, very cool book, and... <laughs> I just think it's so funny, <laughs> and, um, yeah, I quite like the illustrations. Victoria Miller did a great job on the illustrations, and, yeah, so that's pretty much all for My Name is Cheesehead. So, yeah, goodbye, everybody, and have a great day, and peace out.